Welcome to America. You should love it here. And don't believe a word about any bad thing that you hear. Just float along in your nine to five cage. Vote for one of two parties when you reach the right age. And if you tell the Bible belts you're undecided, they'll put an end to that. They'll remind you that Jesus loves Republicans and Satan loves the Democrats. But be careful when you open up a history book and you bend it back. You might just find out this nation isn't everything they say it is. Abortions by the millions, let's just slay the kids. School shootings every week, now let's just pray the kids. KKK and Black Lives Matter. I'm confused on what day this is. More specifically, what year this is. Listen closely. Do you hear this, kids? They said racism ended in the 60s. Then why do I hear the N-word by white people when they're with me? And they say this is the land of the free. Then why do black people get locked up unproportionately just because they don't look like me? But maybe they didn't have good schools to learn to read books like me. So we give them welfare and hope it'll fix them. Maybe it's time we start asking questions and flip the system. Maybe it's time we stop voting in the same two parties in office every election. Do lifetime politicians deserve an inspection? Seems to me we all complain, but nothing ever changes. And they hope we forget about their problems and just turn the pages. Shouldn't that enrage us? I guess we're too comfortable with our iPhones and Netflix. And we keep popping prescription pills just looking for that next fix. And pharmaceutical companies pay our doctors to keep us high. Half of us are stoned and nobody even bats an eye. We just keep popping pills and having sex while aborting babies that never asked to die. And all the while, our flag still flies. It's a symbol of freedom, so don't you think about kneeling. We could care less about the way that you're feeling. This flag represents lives lost in the American dream. Pop a couple volumes and experience this American scheme. Everything you see isn't the way that it seems when we divide ourselves into color-based teams. Welcome to America. God bless the USA. Half of us could care less about watching the news today. Another mass shooting, another black looting, just hanging on for the ride while the world keeps moving. When we wake up from our sleep, we post online and share a meme. Then we fall right back asleep in this American dream. Come on, Clayton, be careful, don't play with this. I'm just asking if America is as great as we say it is. Lock your doors and do your chores. Pay no attention to all of the wars. Just nod your head and pay your taxes. Don't think about where that money goes when you lay your head on that mattress. Don't think about how you're helping fund abortions. Don't think about the corruption, the lies, and extortion. Getting involved is too hard for you. So sit back and fly that flag at your next neighborhood barbecue. The politicians got this and you have nothing to fear. Just turn a blind eye and look away. There's nothing to hear. Welcome to America where we celebrate celebrities who glorify violence. They try to take away our guns and tell us to stay silent. Welcome to America where it's cheaper to get an abortion than get an adoption. We're told we cling to our guns and our Bibles, but not them. They cling to their textbooks and science while the 1% hangs out on their islands. And this is how it's supposed to be. Welcome to America, the land of the greed. And I hate to break it to you, but Donald Trump is never going to set you free. And the IRS is never going to let you breathe. You're just part of the system, a slave to the grid. With no save, they bring back the draft and take your kid. It's for the greater good, like oil and power. Make sure you give a dollar to the homeless bunched up beneath Trump Tower. And this isn't me taking shots at the president. Forgive me if walking along blindly has me a little hesitant. Like when they told me a college degree would open up doors. They were right. The door to the loan office asking for more. Or when they said Iraq would be free decade and a half later and there's still blood in the streets or when they said they'd lessen our national debt to put money on that would be an irrational bet but what do i know i'm just a middle class kid i'm just trying to piece together the little that fits and it seems like there's a whole lot missing in this puzzle it's putting hope in ourselves that keeps getting us in trouble america doesn't need america america needs jesus we don't need trump or clinton when we got god to lead us welcome to america the land of the lost and if america wants change it starts at the cross